Okay, so I'm redoing my Tabaret review because my last Tabaret review uh, induced motion sickness. So here's uh, my Tabaret. I got this from Cheap Joe's. I've got my Epson scanner on the top. So if you have an Epson Expression 11,000 XL graphic art scanner, it will fit perfectly on top of the Cheap Joe's Tabaret like it was made for it. It only comes in one color. Uh, so if you like other colors, then kind of out of luck. But you can look for these dimensions online, but they're a little bit inaccurate, so I'm going to give them to you here. So the overall dimensions of this Tabaret are a 35 inches high by 28 inches wide by 19 inches deep. And the top drawer right here is 1.5 inches high by 23 inches wide and 12.5 and inches deep. And these two middle drawers are of equal size and they are 3 inches deep by 10.25 inches wide and 16 inches deep. These two bottom drawers are also of equal size and they are 2 inches high by 23 inches wide and 16 inches deep. The cabinet is 15 inches high, 25 inches wide, and 16 inches deep. So now I'm going to show you a close-up of these different compartments and what I've put into them. So in this top drawer, I've got the projects I'm working on currently. So I've got my um, drafting brush, my color tinting evaluating tools, my color wheels, and paper types, they're all in this drawer. This drawer is a good size for, for inks and bottles and cups and jars because it's three inches deep, so it works well for that. My Phil Martin inks, my water cups and droppers, my gelatos, my sponges, my two gouache tubes, my embossing metal, my palettes, so my porcelain palette, and my brushes um, that are just for really cheap things like fabric paint. I've got the same size drawer on this side and more backup supplies, glitter that I got from my cousin that I use for cards and such, glues, extra pencil grips, tiny photo frames for doing miniatures, gum arabic and masking fluid, backup pencils, backup supplies and erasers in there, and an old empty box, some business cards, and also artist tape to mask off borders and such. Then I've got these two drawers below it, a great size and depth for spreading out your supplies. My markers, all my watercolor brushes in different sizes, proportional divider, pencils and lead and erasers over here, my creative color aqua sticks, my other watercolor crayons, tin boxes that have my watercolor pencils in them, and watercolors. Um, all of these arranged by color family groups. It's going in spectrum order according to my color wheel. So I've got all of my pan watercolors in here. This is my travel watercolor box, create a color aqua sticks and watercolor crayons cut up, and my embossing tools and bookmaking tools on this side. So this jar is perfectly wide and spread out for that. I just have to open it when I'm painting and I can get what I want. The drawer underneath it is exactly the same dimensions and it's, once this is gone I'll probably put um, arches paper or something like that here. But for right now I've got paper that's cardstock, different rulers, paper cutter and trimmer on this side. Foam pad, which is for embossing metal. Little X-Acto cutting mat. These little stencils. When I did watercolor miniatures, I could make them various different sizes and use these stencils as a guide, but these are actually for people who use these in die cut machines or as stencils or for stamping, so I don't know if I necessarily did the right thing because I'm not a crafter or a stamper. Um, I'm a painter, so I haven't used those yet, and I've had them for a few years. This bottom cabinet, it's the largest compartment. And actually it was a little bit too large for, I think, organizing art supplies in an efficient manner. So I bought like this inside cabinet shelf that helps layer it. My drafting and drawing paper on that side. My watercolor paper and cold press and hot press down there. My watercolor journals and black drawing paper up here. My portfolios and loose paper up here. Of course, I do have a separate bookshelf for my art books, but everything that has to do with art has fit into this tabaret except for one portfolio. The tabaret also has a towel rack on the side where you can hang a washcloth. This tabaret came with a ding in it, so it's right there. Do you see it? It's right there. And actually, I colored it in with marker, a red marker and a black marker, so it doesn't show up so much anymore. I emailed them about it, but I don't think it was a big enough of a deal for them to care as much because nobody got back to me. It's been the perfect size for me, and I would recommend getting it. The only thing I would say, the shipping price for the Tabaret costs as much as the actual Tabaret itself, and they don't tell you that until you actually buy it. I like my Tabaret. I think you should get a Tabaret too.